Hi there guys, Dan here from Blues Guitar Beginners and today we're going to look through that solo. Now if you're just starting out with some soloing this will be a really good place for you to start. It's got some, some nice licks but they should be just about okay to play through. Uh, of course the more you go through it the better and better it will sound. Now we are using a minor pentatonic scale in this so if you're not quite sure about the minor pentatonic scale then, then whiz on over to, uh, to the website bluesguitarbeginners.com and sign up for the video lessons there and, and you'll get a whole range of free video lessons uh, and we do go through the pentatonic there. I'm gonna briefly go through it now anyway. So, here we are, we're way up here in, in what is known as the C sharp, because I'm on a C sharp note, which is all the way up on the ninth fret of the E string. C sharp minor pentatonic. Which looks like that. Okay. And it's in C sharp, so I've got my first finger is always playing the ninth fret, just as a quick brush over of the scale. Then it's my little finger, first, little finger, first, third, first, third, first, third, first, fourth, first, fourth. Okay? And if you're just still new to that scale, then, then you need to practice that scale shape. I have explained the scale shape in a PDF which is available with this lesson as well. Um, but make sure also you're doing your alternate picking on that scale, okay guys? Down, up, 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 okay? All alternate picking, get used to that from the early stages and it's going to make your life a lot easier in the long run, okay? So, we're going to break this solo down into four licks and it starts with this one. Okay, pretty simple. I'm starting with my third finger on the 11th fret on the A string, okay, a pentatonic note. Then going up to the first finger on the D string, this is ninth fret, and hitting it twice on the third finger. Okay, and that really is your first lick, okay? It comes in just after the beat, okay? So it would count in one, two, three, four, one. Okay, so just off the beat there. Now, rhythmically, we're not gonna go into the notes, the eighth notes, the dotted crotchets, nothing like that, okay, guys? All we're gonna be talking about is you need to be listening to the track. So you go and you put that track on and you listen to it until you can sing it, then the actual fingers will be put in the right places after that, okay? If you can sing it or hum it, you're halfway there already. So, first lick, okay? Your second lick goes like this. And what we're doing here is I'm, I'm on the G string, okay, and I'm up on the 11th fret, and I'm going to be bending this up a full tone. Now, for those who don't know, a full tone essentially means you bend the note that you're playing up two frets, up to there, okay? So that's what you're aiming to get to with your bend, okay? Now, for you guys, because I know how hard that can be to pitch that, I've deliberately made the bend go up nice and slow so that you can gradually kind of get towards the note. So when you're trying it, play the note, which is the 13th fret, and then give it a bend until you get to that, okay? Now notice, also, I've got all three fingers behind that. There's the finger I'm gonna be bending with, the third finger. I've got my second finger and first finger always also on the string, and I always have them there when I'm doing these bends, to add a bit of stability to the bend. I like my thumb over the top, you can do it equally with the thumb at the back, it doesn't matter which way you do it, but I would keep to the three fingers, okay? And then all three of them go up, so you're pushing up with three fingers. Now that might be really hard at first, keep the pressure down and keep your finger nice and in the corner of the fret, okay? Now to really test it, what we're going to be doing is bending up and then bringing it back down, okay? Okay, so that you've got to keep a lot of pressure on that to make that right. If you don't, you might find that you, you kind of grab some of the other strings as you come back down. So 
you know, it's going to take a bit of experimentation, but go through it, guys, nice and steadily. Now, we're then going to come back off to the first finger, still on the G string, ninth fret, and then down to the third finger on the D string, 11th fret. Which we're going to do twice, okay? So that's your second lick, okay? Now, third lick, what we've got is we're going to do another full bend, okay? This time, right up here. So in terms of pentatonic notes, we're right here, okay? And I'm going to be bending that up a full tone Again, so two frets up. Okay, notice, even though my pentatonic note is back here, I'm gonna put all three fingers behind that bend again, okay? Again, I just want a nice solid sounding bend. Go up as slow as you like. But to be honest, if you're playing blues, the slower the better, right? So we're gonna go up nice and steady until we get to that full tone, okay? It's all about pitch here, guys. We wanna make sure we're getting that tone right. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to, whilst it's still up there, we're going to pick it again with the plectrum and drag it back down. This is an exercise in control, guys. Okay, so we're going up one, two, three, four, bringing it down and then picking it again whilst it's down on the 12th fret. Okay. Okay, and that's your fourth lick, okay? Sorry, that was your third lick, sorry, my fault. And then the fourth lick is this. Okay, nice bluesy sounding lick. Now what I'm doing is I've got my first finger barred across the ninth fret on the B and the E string. Okay, and I'm literally, with my right hand, I'm picking E string, B string, E string. And specifically with the plectrum, down, up, down. And then finishing on an upstroke on my little finger, 12th fret, okay? And that's hitting an E note at the top there, okay? And there's four licks, okay? Which we put together in this solo. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play through that solo nice and slowly for you, okay? And it sounds like this, I'm gonna count it in. One, two, three, four, one. Nice big gap here. One, two, three, four. Bend. One, two, three, two, three. And that's it. Okay. So, your first job, guys. Now, this is a bit of a two part of this video, to be honest. So, your first job is to get that solo learned, nailed played along with the track, nice and comfortable, bends going into the right places, and then we can look into the second part of the video. Now then, in the second part of the video, what we'll be looking at is actually taking those four individual licks and, and getting the most you can out of them in an improvisational context, okay? So it's no good just learning a solo and then just that's it. You'll, you'll forget it in five weeks or six weeks or whatever it is. Um, but what we want to be able to do is take a solo that you've learned and really take every single ounce of every single lick and every idea and play it over all kinds of different sounds. So that's what we'll be doing in the next video. So tune in for that one and get this down in the meantime.